Hello, my name is Adam and welcome to my new video and let's roll the intro. So why did I stop vlogging? Uh, because uh, as some of you may noticed, I did stop vlogging uh, and there is a very uh, simple reason for that, uh, which I'm gonna explain you today uh, and tell you a little bit more uh, what is my plan for the future. So where do I start? Uh, I posted my last video uh, sometime in May, I think, uh, and it's because uh, at the beginning of May uh, I had a small accident on my skateboard, uh, which I bought uh, not that long ago, uh, actually. So long story short, uh, I was just uh, recovering after being sick uh, for a week or so, uh, so I decided to uh, use the opportunity and go uh, to ride my skateboard for like 20 or 30 minutes, um, pretty close to my apartment actually, um, and then everything started. So what was supposed to be my 20 or 30 minute uh, ride ended up in uh, calling the emergency, uh, which I actually did myself because I uh, broke my leg and I could see it, like literally I could see it that it's broken. Uh, so with one, my leg, uh, with one of my um, hands I was like keeping my, trying to keep my leg stabilized and um, all together and with the other one I was calling the emergency myself. Uh, after around 15 minutes they came and uh, took me to the hospital um, and basically when the doctor uh, took off all the bandages and protection and stuff uh, he literally, I could literally see uh, that he was scared of what happened to my leg. Um, there was a lot of things said uh, during that visit, uh, which I'm not gonna bring up right now. Uh, but in the end, uh, I had to stay in the hospital and I spent there uh, almost a month. Uh, I had surgery. Uh, my condition was not very good. Uh, apparently my bones are very easy to break. Uh, which I didn't know before. Um, so in the end, my leg was broken in five places. Uh, and in three cases, uh, the bone just moved to the spot it shouldn't be in, uh, which is why I had to uh, have the surgery. Uh, after that, I was on a sick leave for the, another month, uh, but at home, obviously. Mm, so I didn't have much opportunity and much to talk about because um, basically not being able to function normally uh, is first difficult and the other thing it's kind of depressing actually because you can't really do a lot of stuff you are basically stuck at home uh, with your leg on a pillow put uh, above mm, so I spent most of this time uh, watching TV series because that was the only thing I could have done and by the way, I couldn't have done it without my friends because, uh, as you probably um, understand, it's not easy to do grocery shopping or I don't know. Um, when I was in hospital, my family lives very far away from the city I live in, uh, so I would be stuck alone without anyone, basically. Um, so my friends uh, from Warsaw uh, stood up and really helped me, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but yeah, I am on a wheelchair right now. Let me show you. That is the wheelchair. That is the broken leg, as you can see. It's recovering slowly, uh, but I'm pretty sure everything will be good uh, and I will be able to uh, walk in around normally walk in around six months um, but we will see obviously because anything can happen but uh, quite recently uh, I was talking to one of my friends and 
that person asked me what will happen with your YouTube channel uh, because uh, I was very excited about it. Uh, so at that point I didn't know the answer, but right now I figured that what else can I do than just use this situation, I mean, um, and spend this huge amount of time I have um, and produce some content for you. So what I'm gonna try to do, but you have to still keep in mind that life in this condition is not very easy and I can't make any promises, but what I'm gonna try is to make a series of videos uh, in which I'm gonna show you um, if Warsaw is actually um, friendly for disabled people, like myself in current state. Um, also, I was speaking to my other friend recently, who is from uh, Colombia, but uh, most of his time he spent in, in Norway, uh, about Polish. And I figured that there is a lot of tutorials on YouTube uh, with Polish uh, for foreigners, but they're not actually very good, in my opinion, because they teach Polish in the same way you would teach a Polish person, or a person whose lang native language is um, kind of similar to Polish, um, but he never teach um, the pronunciation correctly, because the grammar, I'm not a specialist. So, um, I can teach you the basics, uh, and also the pronunciation, using some uh, tricks and uh, I can give you some tips and stuff, but I'm definitely not an expert. So if you're up for it um, and you have troubles uh, pronouncing some uh, Polish uh, words or sentences or you would like to know uh, how to say something properly, because one thing is that you can use Google Translator for example, but it doesn't give you a guarantee that Polish people actually use it. Uh, because, as you probably know, Polish language is quite tricky. Mm, so, if you would be up for it, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and maybe give me some suggestions about this uh, first episode of, uh, let's say, Polish tutorial. Um, and yeah, that's basically what my life was about during the last two months or so. Um, keep your fingers crossed for me. Uh, I am hoping to, to, to get better uh, very soon and get back to the regular schedule. Um, but anyway, a new video is definitely coming up next week, which will be um, the intro for my channel. It's not the kind of intro I wanted to make at the very beginning, but considering the circumstances, it's good enough. Uh, and it's good to have it. I was working pretty hard uh, to, to do it and I am almost done with it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, comment down below with suggestions for um, this episode about learning Polish uh, more easily. Uh, and subscribe if you aren't already, it actually makes a difference for me. Um, and yeah, thanks for all your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye.